Hey y'all, I wish I had better news, but we do have the updates on the cases for Junior's killers. Jonaki, who tried to leave his jail cell today and bring a knife to court in his shoe, was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole, which is really great. Unfortunately, the other ones were not. Jose Muniz, Elvin, and Antonio got 25 to life with the possibility of parole. So the minimum that they will do is 25 years, uh, and then they'll be up for parole. Manuel Rivera, 23 to life with the possibility of parole. Now, my best guess is the reason is Jonaki was the one who plunged the knife into Junior's neck, undoubtedly causing his death. That is easy life, no parole. But the other guys, they were instrumental in contributing to his death, but without Jonaki, perhaps he would have survived. We don't really know. Um, Antonio's mother screamed out in the courtroom, my son didn't kill him. Unfortunately, ma'am, she did. He did. He helped to kill Junior. Whether she wants to hear that or not, it's a fact, and her son will now do 25 years minimum in prison and then have a chance at parole. But, you know, my guess is... 25 years from now, they still have that video evidence. Those guys aren't getting out. So we'll see what happens. We There's a the other 10 who still have to be sentenced. That probably won't even be heard until 2020. So for now, this is a rest to Junior's case. Um, we're still all hoping for justice for him. I think he got a little bit today with Jonaki being sentenced to life with no chance at parole. I don't think it was enough, personally. I think they all deserved it, all five of them, period. Should have been put away forever, but, you know, I'm not the judge, nor the jury, nor, you know, anybody in the legal field. So we can't always get what we want, but hopefully this gives his family a little bit of peace.